Hi guys, welcome to this new episode of the Bible of Suspension Tuning and Data Acquisition. In this video we'll see how the smartphone app works. After downloading the smartphone app from the Apple or Play Store, you can see that the app consists of three pages. The device page lets you interact with the BYB telemetry acquisition unit. The RAM page is the place where you can open the downloaded files and the support page contains some useful links and resources. Let's see how the device page works. As you have already seen in the previous tutorials, after enabling the connection mode on the acquisition unit and being connected to the BYB telemetry Wi-Fi network, you will be able to see the dashboard tab, the bike config tab and the configuration tab. The dashboard tab contains the current settings of our acquisition unit and shows the download button on the top right of the screen. The following page, the bike config tab, contains the current settings of the bike saved inside the acquisition unit, while the configuration tab allows to manage various acquisition unit settings. Let's open the RAM page now. It contains all downloaded runs and two buttons located on the up bar. The first button is used to connect the Dropbox client to automatically push your runs to the cloud, while the other button is used to download some sample runs. Inside this page you can rename, organize and delete files or folders. To open a run you can just click on the desired name and wait for the decoding of the BYB file. Now that a run has been opened we can see several tabs. The first tab, called Summary, shows some general information about the opened run. For example, you can see the GPS route on the map and the altitude change. Scrolling down, the run data table shows more information. The most relevant ones are the minimum and maximum acceleration, the GPS max and mean speed compared to the sensor max and mean speed, as well the GPS distance versus the sensor distance. Since riders are usually in the woods, the GPS reception can be poor, despite the use of an external antenna and a high-end GPS receiver. That's why we are using the external speed sensor in order to obtain the real travel distance. The fork and shock table contains a lot of numbers about the suspension. While scrolling down a bit, we can see the same information but regarding the front and the rear wheel. They are the dynamic seg, the maximum travel, the number of bottom out events and the average and max compression and rebound velocity. The last table shows the data coming from the brake sensors. We can understand how much we are braking during the slope. The second tab is called lines page. It lets you scroll the map and the charts 10 seconds at a time. Using the top buttons, you can switch between percentage, millimeters, suspension and the wheel visualization. While dragging the bottom slider, it's possible to move the time axis back and forward. The consultable charts are the following. The suspension position, the suspension velocities, the shock at the handlebar perceived by the rider, the brake usage and the bike speed. The histogram page lets you choose the type of data to plot between suspension and wheel. You can find the position distribution that shows the balance of the bike's suspension or wheels, and the velocity distribution that shows the balance between the front and rear compression and rebound velocities over the entire run. To complete the histogram page, you can observe the rider's speed distribution and the scattered plot that gives you more information about the overall balance of the bike. The next tab is called Automatic Tuning Page. This tool is really appreciated. It's very simple, you just have to select the rider's level and to click Tune. This tool will give you exact information on how to adjust the knobs of your suspension. Just looking at the color of the fork and the shock dots, you can understand if you are closer or far away to the perfect setup. The last page, called Notes, shows you the bike configuration data which are saved inside the acquisition unit. Here you can consult the current bike settings and get them when shredding the same track in the future. You can modify every field and add your notes. Once done, click Apply in order to save the changes locally. Thank you guys for being with us in this video about the smartphone app. In the next tutorial we'll see how the PC software works. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive notification about new episodes.